I'm Howard Hale with the Horseman's Corner, bringing you useful information from people involved with the world of horses. I'll be back with today's guest right after this. If you have an ag business, you need to use the Internet to its fullest advantage because more and more people are using the Internet every day. And you can be located on a good place to get found at agsearch.us, horsemanscorner.com, cattlemanscorner.com, or harvestusareport.com. For more information, just give us a call. Our numbers are on any of those websites. Horsemanscorner.com, Cattlemanscorner.com, AgSearch.us, and HarvestUSAReport.com. This is Steve Swart of North Platte, Nebraska. Horseman, Steve, when you worked out of my barn here at Minotaur, Nebraska, you used a lot of bits made by a gentleman named John Israel. Talk about that a little bit, would you? John and I had had a conversation here a couple months ago, and I told John, I said, out of all the bits I've seen on the market and everything, I don't see anybody even coming close to really copying your bits. And John, he just kind of chuckled, and he says, yeah. He says, you know, one thing that I've always kept in mind when I was building this is I wanted it to be something that was comfortable for the horse. And he said he found that he felt like most bits were there to inflict some, a certain amount of pain. He said, I, I wanted the bit to be something that the horse was comfortable with and, and not scared of. Most of his bits uh, have a mullen mouthpiece, don't they? Yeah, they're relatively a lot larger than um, your typical uh, bit. You know, he makes them out of a 5 8 tubing. North Platte, Nebraska, Horseman Steve Sward. Thanks for joining us for the Horseman's Corner. Great to have you along. More on the web at horsemanscorner.com. May God bless, and you come back and join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hayes.